Hello, this week I will be talking about the Olivier Awards. Those are the biggest British theatre awards, even though they only really cover a part of London, more about that later. If you are from the UK, I'm sure you already know about them, but if you're not, like me, maybe this is something you might want to learn about. You know, famous people being nominated, you might know them from films, fun stuff. They were founded in 1976, which means that this year they celebrate the 40th anniversary, by the Society of London Theatre. Back then it was called the Society of West End Theatre, and therefore the award was called the Sweat Award. In 1984, Laurence Olivier agreed to give his name to the award, so since then it is called the Olivier. Also, the award itself changed, and since then it is the statue of Laurence Olivier himself, sort of his upper, upper part. I personally really like these awards, because I don't usually find the results ridiculous, while in my country we have an award that's totally ridiculous. People who can't sing at all, winning for musicals and stuff like that. The Olivier's, I would say, are quite reliable, even though there are talks about famous people being more likely to get them, but in my experience those people tend to really be good. I guess this might be because both specialists and sort of normal people are involved. According to Wikipedia, I don't know where this information comes from because I didn't find it on the official website, the judging panel for plays and musicals consists of five specialists and four uh, members of public for musicals and four different ones for plays. It is slightly less people for opera, ballet and the affiliate categories. But, well, the affiliate category. Let's read from the official website who is eligible for the award. Any new productions that opened between 26th of February 2015 and 16th of February 2016 in a theatre represented in membership of Society of London Theatre is eligible for consideration for the Olivier Award 2016 with Mastercard, provided it has at least 30 performances. 30 performances, fine, but theatre represented in membership of Society of London Theatre. I've done a bit of googling and turns out that to be a member of this society you need to pay them some fees, which a lot of smaller theatres can't afford. So basically, the members of this society are Western theatres, the National, the Globe, Royal Court, the Old Vic, uh, oddly the John Ma, and that's it I think. So some other places, like for example the Almeida or the Young Vic, where a lot of exciting things happen are not on this list. They are the so-called affiliate theatres, which only have one category for anything, a play, a director, an actor. Apparently they can pay a special fee for an actor or a production to be eligible, but I'm not sure how often they can afford to do that, really. This year the Almeida's Orestaya has a couple of nominations, thank god. But anyway, I find this part a bit... Oh. This year's ceremony will be held this Sunday, April the 3rd, and it will be hosted by Michael Ball. You can watch a stream of the whole event on the Olivier Awards YouTube channel, I will link that down below, at 10pm UK time, or there will be a shortened version broadcast on ITV at 10.15, and in the online player thingy after that. And let's do some predictions, just for fun. I don't live in London, but I've spent quite a lot of time there last year, so I'd say I've seen maybe about a half of the shows that are nominated. For me personally, the highlights of the year were definitely the Orestaya at the Almeida, that was just perfect. Also Gypsy at the Savoy, thanks to the incredible Imelda Staunton. I haven't seen People, Places and Things yet, everyone says only the best things about that, but I have read the plays. So these are little hints for where my sympathies will go. Best Revival. I'm gonna go for The Winter's Tale, because Ken Branagh was just heavenly. Okay, that was another highlight. Yeah, thanks to him and Judy Dench. Best New Comedy. I have not seen any of those, unfortunately, so no predictions there. Best actor in a supporting role, Mark Gatiss, Three Days in the Country. He was very funny and the whole production was beautiful. That was probably my national theatre highlight and I go there a lot. Best actress in a supporting role, Judy Dent, definitely. Best new play, People, Places and Things, so good. Best actor. So I would personally give it to Ken Branagh, but I'm not sure about the real prediction. Mark Rylance sounds like someone who might win, but I haven't seen that. <laughs> Best Actress, I'm gonna go with Denise Goth. As I said, I haven't seen her yet, but I trust the opinion of certain people. Best Director, Robert Icke for The Orestaya. If he doesn't win this, there's something wrong with the world. Best Actor in a Supporting Role in a Musical, 
Well, I personally had a huge crush on John Burton in Gypsy, but I don't think he will really win. I'm gonna go with Gavin Spokes, Guys and Dolls. Best actress in a supporting role in a musical. I really liked Amy Lennox in Kinky Boots, so let's go with that. Best musical revival. Oh. Okay, I adored Gypsy. I've seen it five times. <laughs> but only thanks to Imelda. Yeah, but I will still say Gypsy. Best actor in a musical. I'm gonna say Matt Henry will win for Kinky Boots. Even though I personally preferred Killian Donnelly, I love him. Also love Jamie Parker. Best actress in a musical. Do we need to ask this question? I think everyone knows that Imelda Staunton's winning this 100%. She's amazing. This was probably the best performance I've ever seen in my life. By the way, I've seen her in two other shows before. And she's always great on stage. And can I just say, I have seen a musical called Grey Gardens in the Southwark Playhouse and Jenna Russell. Oh my god. I can only hope that it will still transfer to the West End so that her performance might be appreciated properly next year. And last, we have Best New Musical. I have only seen Kinky Boots out of these. Yeah, I think they might win. So that's all from me. Please let me know what your predictions are in the comments and I will see you next time. Bye!